everyone and welcome back to IMO Reviews. Thanks to your vote, today we are discussing Toy Story. Directed by John Lasseter and starring Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, Annie Potts, Donna Rickles and Wallace Shawn. Toy Story was a groundbreaking animated film from 1995 about Andy's favourite toy, Woody the Cowboy only for Andy to get a new toy for his birthday, the all-new Buzz Lightyear. Which seems pretty straightforward, except when nobody is looking, the toys come to life. And while Woody tries his best to get back to being the favourite, he also has to deal with Buzz Lightyear's existential crisis of not knowing that he is in fact a toy. But before we go any further, could you be a dear and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It really does help me and the channel massively and we thank you if you do. In my humble opinion, Toy Story is a classic and it always will be. I've loved it since I was a kid and I still feel the same way about it today. Just about everyone can watch this movie and fall in love with it, whether you're four years old or 84 years old or somewhere in between. It is the definition of a fun family film. It's probably the king of fun family films, to be honest. If not, it's certainly up there in the competition. I love the characters and I love the voice cast in this film. Everyone feels so fleshed out and developed, even if they're background characters. I feel like I know them and their personalities. We meet these characters slash toys on what is just another day for them. Within the first 10 minutes you can feel the dynamics, who's in charge, who hangs out with who. You can feel the society that these toys have created for themselves either consciously or somewhat decided by Andy's favouritism of them all. And it is so well done because that really isn't the crux of the story. It's just that it's so well written and developed that you just feel it immediately. It is exceptionally sharp writing the whole way through. And that also means that the pacing to this movie is absolutely electric. This movie is roughly an hour and 20 minutes long, and my God, there isn't a pinch of fat on it. And yet it never stopped the movie from escalating the plot fantastically. And it always keeps the audience invested and on board. Something with that short of a running time could so, so easily fall into the trap of rushing through it and alienating their audience or leaving them feeling like they don't really care. Uh -uh, not here. I'd actually say I found it quite inspiring in that sense to look at Toy Story's structure and see how they managed to tell such an invigorating story that just kept on moving that also comes full circle while delivering a really good message and having enjoyable, respectable characters that you remember. It sounds easy, but Believe you me, there's plenty of movies that fall flat on their face when it comes to these sort of things. And Toy Story makes it look effortless. It never lingers. It never becomes too wordy. It's quick. It's snappy. It's moving. It's fun. It escalates. It de-escalates. It plays with your hopes as an audience member. It is kind of theatrical in that sense that it always plays with its audience. I feel if they went any further, you'd almost hear, he's behind you. I'm not even saying that as a negative. I think it's very clever and I think that's probably where the writing got so much inspiration from to be so sharp and quick and investing. I also love the climax to this movie. I still feel like fist bumping and cheering as Woody and Buzz go up in the air with the rocket lit behind them and they, well, they fall with style. The whole thing just plays out superbly and again it's that escalation that I mentioned. Good old Slinky Dog is thrown out to try and reach out a hand and pull them in but he's pulled way too far and he has to be pulled back into the van. The remote control car that Buzz and Woody are on, the batteries die, it feels like all hope is gone and lost. And then you think they're really doomed when it turns out that Woody lights that match that he was given earlier. Again, brilliant writing because it was set up. But even that gets blown out by a passing car and then you feel even more doomed than you already did. It's only that Buzz drops his head in defeat and offers some refracted light off his helmet. Again, set up earlier in the movie when Sid tried to burn Woody with the magnifying glass, that Woody has the great idea that we can use that to light the rocket and off we go. It comes around, it goes around. The music is triumphant in this moment. Woody's face is 
perfectly terrified while Buzz looks alive and living for the moment. I honestly love this climax so much that I don't even need the scene to play. I can just look at this picture and I'm happy. I, I just feel happy looking at that picture. My brain plays it out for me. But that does bring us to the negatives of the movie and... I'm not gonna beat around the bush, this movie's perfect. I have seen some people say that the animation does not hold up to this day. And frankly, I have to disagree. I think it holds up fantastically well. Yeah, there's bits and bobs, sometimes buzz blinks and it's a little bit off kilter, like this eye goes and opens and then this eye goes. It's never in sync with each other. Woody makes some very strange faces in this movie. He gets kissed by Bo Peep and moments later pulls this face. Yeah. And the big one for me would actually be Sid's dog, Scud. I just have to accept that that does look horrible. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never run. But I'm trying to remind myself that that's 1995. And again, I accept I'm reaching here and it is a small complaint because I actually really like this scene. When the toys come to life to scare Sid and save Buzz from being blown up, do we ever get any closure on that? I don't know, there's a very curious part of my brain that would like to see what happened to Sid after that. But that is all that I can complain about here because I genuinely think this is a flawless movie. If you can't tell, I love Toy Story. I love the whole franchise, to be brutally honest. My personal favourite is Toy Story 2. I feel like it's such a good sequel. If you haven't seen this movie, what, what are you doing? Go and check it out. Even if you have seen it already, revisit it. It's worth it. So without any hesitation, Toy Story absolutely gets an 11 out of 10. You making it the latest inductee into the IMO Hall of Fame. Thank you for watching this review. Thank you for voting for this review. Please do hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and please do hit the comment section as well. What do you think of Toy Story? Are you excited to see Lightyear? Which is your favorite of the franchise? Let me know in the comment section below. Take care and I look forward to seeing you on the next review.